Hello, this is a quick video to help you to get rid of dot crawl, which is this nasty effect. Let's have a look, we're in Premiere, so let's stretch the uh, stretch the window up so you can see a bit better. I'm doing an edit of a video here, and um, basically the effect that I'm getting that I don't want is this one here. Right, the effect I'm getting is there, you can see it. Now I'll zoom in so you can see it even better. 159 it's going quite close 200 percent there you can see the dot crawl quite bad okay so this is an effect that actually rolls across if you watch it now and it moves around so if we move slowly through it you see it's always constantly in motion so it's it's a very hard noise to deal with it's going really close right you can see it there it's blocking you've got a little square blocks you can see and also it's just diagonal lines and they move move across the screen. So they're absolutely horrible. Now the filter I'm using is called Neat Video. N-E-A-T, Neat Video. You pop it in and then you and we need to get an area that we can use. So pick an area that's nice and wide and clear. So that's like this area here. Okay, so it's got not much detail in it. You don't want areas that have shadow and light. You want a kind of flat area, so like a wall or a flat surface. And then you switch on the effect. Okay, you can make it full screen. Zoom in, zoom into the area you want so you can see it a bit better. Pick the largest area that doesn't have to have any specific details in it. So pick the largest area you can. See where it's going to, into the hair? That's a little bit too much detail, so I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go up to down maybe go for the shadow area do as much as you possibly can then say auto profile auto fine tune and switch to the second tab which is noise filter settings now you can see it's already made an effect but to, to check what it's doing turn the preview on and off and you can see it's making some difference but i think we can do it even better because there's still going to be some noise there so i've got um normally it'll be at, at 30 or uh well 60 30 or 60 is normally the default so if you put it at 30 you can see there's still too much noise there so it doesn't really take much off I turned it all the way up to 70 you could go to 100 if you wanted to but I think 70 is enough to get over the threshold you don't want to take out too much detail and I also turned up these two here which get rid of chromatic problems so these two get rid of chroma problems in your video so I turn those up to 150 in this it's normally at zero percent, zero percent, like this, and you can see it fuzzes it out too much. Okay, so with the effect off, with it on, now it's smoothed him out. He's like he's he's got perfect makeup skin. Well, we don't want that. We want a little bit of noise in in the footage. Okay, so I'm going to turn up the high level to give more detail. Okay, and I'm going to take down the low and the mid take those down right down so you can turn the preview off and on and you can see the difference it's making but it's it's making it too uh, CGI looking so you want to introduce some of the green back in so I'm turning the low down get some of the detail back in and the mid so that was um, that's low and now you can see the difference you know it's a bit more detail there whereas if we turn these back up again you can see it just smudges everything off a little bit too much I mean maybe you want that it depends but I I think it's a bit too a bit too too a bit too much losing too much detail so we turn it down we keep the high frequency up look what happens if we turn the high frequency down that's the one where the noise is it's in the very small ie the high frequency because it's the smallest um, smallest wavelength so the highest frequency so we turn that one up that's the important one to keep up okay so then all what I did as well as I sharpened it afterwards so without it it's like that with a bit of sharpening on it sharpens back in some of the detail and um, you can have a bit of low detail sharpening that's medium you can have some low detail sharpening if you want it again don't go overboard with these because it can it can really make things look a little bit piercing you know you want to have things looking a little bit blurry so I went for medium ranges like that and 
so there you go you can see the effect and it's quite dramatic and um, let's apply that and now we can start moving through the footage and, and seeing how it it goes in different areas so we go 400 percent we turn the effect off turn the effect on turn the effect off turn the effect on okay let's go to some other areas when it decides not to save <laughs> look at that there whoa you know i mean that really destroys the detail doesn't it otherwise with it off now the other thing that was really wrecked was the uh, the color in this and i was able to you know clean it up a hell of a lot look at the color that was shot on this it was just like whoa so you know from the beginning of the footage which was it was really blown out terribly you couldn't even see a face almost you know it's kind of blown out like that two areas up here where you know looking very sludgy to quite nice and I had to take 100% of the contrast off in order to to be able to do that so just goes to show the power of Premiere to um, the power of Premiere look at this when the color was off you know it's kind of all yellowy and it's a bit more natural there now so it just goes to show the power and it reduces the noise look even in the area here around underneath the sleeve look how much noise cleaning there is very very nice so I'm very happy with that you know it, I'm happy for it to be a bit darker here because it makes the video screen uh, okay dark is better for me the colors not too bad in that area as it turns out but um, what it is he was walking in and out of the video projector and when he was doing that he was lighting his face up with different colors from the video projector so we had to uh, reshoot this um, and we had to get different down lighting um, which had a little bit more blue in it instead of the yellow and we uh, we had to sort of uh, make sure that he didn't walk in front of the video projector but you know we didn't end up using this originally when we shot it but now that it's been cleaned and uh, some of this noise has been taken off as you can see some more noise there but when it's cleaned looks pretty good so I'm happy with the uh, this and it's going to go up on the internet now and let's just have a look at a piece of the video screen with the color taken off you see loads of noise in this area here loads loads of noise and with the noise cleaning taken off as well you know so there it 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 cleans up everything not just his skin it cleans up everything so i uh, hope this has been useful for you for getting rid of dot crawl and digital noise on a extreme cleanup of um, what I would consider unusable footage otherwise and uh, very playable very nice oops let's just uh, mute that so you can see there with it with it all on and, and that's with the turned off okay and let's do a bit of a zoom for you so you can see so let's go 400% okay that's with it off noisy this is with it on perfectly clean okay with it turn noise noise off look at that noise everywhere with it turned on okay let's go through it frame by frame so let's that's with it cleaning it that's cleaning it this is not cleaning it this is not cleaning it so that's not cleaning it not cleaning it not cleaning it not cleaning it as you can see cleaning it cleaning it makes a big difference so thanks for watching hope you have some fun it takes hours and hours to process this stuff this was one hour of footage it took about six hours to process and that is with a GPU I've got a uh, graphics uh, card which has GPU acceleration which works in Premiere uh, without that one hour would probably take you about 15 hours to process but it took about uh, five six hours on this and I had to split it up into chunks and bear in mind this is a standard definition video if this was high def one hour would probably take you about two days to do um, this was broken up into chunks and I previewed all the chunks first which is why you can see there's lots of cuts there I previewed all the chunks first bit by bit by bit because you do get the occasional crash if you're overheating your, gra your graphics card 
Um, so if you break it into chunks, do the previews in chunks, you can keep your graphics card cold and then render from the previews in Premiere. So there's all my tips for how to clean stuff, dot crawl and noise in neat video. Thanks very much for watching.